I started reading on Facebook that he, the shooter was inside of a classroom. And then um, I kind of started to freak out a little bit. But I didn't think, like, not, it's not my mom, it's not gonna be my mom. So I, I called her again and she didn't answer, but I figured she can't be on her phone. She's taking care of her kids, you know? And um, she didn't answer me again. And then I was talking to my tias, her sisters. They were, not, they were asking like, what about your mom? Is she okay, is she okay? And I just kept saying, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And then um, my tia had called me and said, um, that my mom had been shot. So I just remember dropping my phone and um, I just started screaming and crying. And that was like one of my worst fears is somebody coming and shooting my family. And it happened. And after that, my coworker drove me home to Uvalde about an hour. It felt like the longest drive ever just waiting and waiting and I texted my mom and I said you're gonna be okay mom I love you so much and that's the last thing I sent her before I found out that she didn't make it when I heard that she jumped in front of her students I think my first thought was of course of course she would that's just her that was just who she was but she was a hero way before this even she even had to be she was just always inspired me she's she was dedicated to, to her job, a hard worker. She was strong. Um, I just, I really hope to be exactly like her. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.